let's start designing our first web design practical web design uh, template here is the photo that I showed you then now I am going to design it first thing that I am going to do is to set up our environment here is what I will do just create a folder here uh, and the desktop and I will name it my work as you know here is the picture written is my my work I go to the folder create a CSS file JS file and IMG file here is how the structure of a basic uh, web design template will look like but I will open this in my favorite code editor so I will use code for this course and I will save the image as well so later I can upload them in github that you can also download here is my work inside the image I will just save it here it is the preview that you can see here so I will create a index HTML file here index the HTML inside this I will just a little zoom out so that you can see the whole code here HTML I will use the HTML5 and these are just basic things that Visual Studio could give you if you like this code editor you can use this and here is the title my work these are the basic when I design these things I assume you know a little uh, HTML and CSS then inside the CSS file CSS folder I will just create an style that CSS file as well inside here I will just write all my CSS so under the title I will link it to CSS style.css so now anything I write here should affect this page here is how our design is going to look it is just the basic for now so I will design something like this for the picture I will use this photo because I cannot crop this photo I can it will lose the quality this is a full quality uh, Victor by Alex Alex is a very good design good designer on rebel you can follow him here and I will save the image in our work image file this is bookstore.jpg I can just save it like that and then I will start designing first thing you should uh, look at the design is the menu we have a menu here we have a logo for our menu then we have plan we have aims management and about so here how we will design that every design almost look like they have a header we will use the HTML5 header then they have a content for the content you can use a section like that and then maybe they have footer but this one do not have any footer all of them will come inside the header so uh, we don't need any section as well I'm going to use the nav here nav is also an HTML5 tag inside nav so what we are going to do is just write a ul and li here inside this I will put my menu you know we have four menus here so I will put an uh, anchor tag here and for now it is going nowhere just I will write the name plan and if you write them in one line that would be better now you can easily duplicate it then the next one is M's management and uh, the next one is about I have a package for uh, Visual Studio Code it will automatically when I save the file just indent the file to make it a bit clean that's why it just changed the the way it looks like this so for now if I open my file in browser it will look uh, very basic like this first thing we will do is about the design background is white already it is white first thing we should uh, add a font for this for the font I will use Lato if you know about Google font you can go to the fonts.google.com here you can just link the Lato font online for now I will come here is the Roboto and open sans uh, uh, almost most uh, most of them are similar but I will use Lato here is the font I will add it select here then you can go to customize you can take the 300 and 700 for the bolt then here is how you can use it put this one in your style 
here above your style and this is the font family leto and sensitive if leto does not exist they will use sensitive then i will come here in the css here i will select body and say font family should be leto and css then if i refresh the page this time it will use that font here so now let's design the menu as you can see on the picture they are uh, a bit on the middle of the page uh, it is not directly to the right or left so what i will do is just give them a little alignment i will come to my code this time i will select the header here is the header tag i have selected here is how you um, put things in middle you you give them a width of 85 percent for now if i come here let me close this the powershell now if i refresh the page it will take the 85 percent of the page then it will uh, make that in middle as well here is how it will work actually if i say 75 and inspect the element here is the header as you can see this portion of the page they will take now if i give a margin of zero auto it will automatically zero is for the top and bottom the auto will be for the right and left the right and left is auto means they have equal position here then i can increase the width of this so it can become fit for uh, to become to come in middle so here i will just write 90 percent then margin is zero auto save the work now it will work the same next thing is inside our header we have nav we have ul we have our li i will just display them in line block so that they will look like this then i can give a margin the margin would uh, come for nav ul li a if you know about the html you know that what i am selecting i am selecting the anchor uh, tags here ul we have li then we have a it will select all the the anchor elements then inside here i can come and give them a little bit of padding like 12 pixel for now if i refresh it will look like this then i select it and make it uh, look like this you know the top uh, it has a little more space from the top that's why we need to give it a little more space from the top but for the space between them i think it's fine the a link the colors the all of those things should be different so i will come here and give the color of 999 this is a gray color and next thing uh, is text decoration is none so we do need to see the underlines refresh yes now it will look almost like this but as you know I, if i select this one it has 12 pixel from uh, all directions so i will give a little more space from right and left about 30 it will look good and i will come here and then 30 pixel from right to left now it will look good but we have ul here now if i give the ul a little bit of margin top 30 now it will be better i think so i can come here we have our header nav ul uh, the reason i select it in uh, i can just put ul because we have only one ul but in the future if you have more ul uh, you you should select it uh, specifically like this that we need the ul which is inside the nav inside the header that's why i selected like that it is okay if you select this only ul for now but in the future it will cause problem so i will just use the the, the correct way uh, if i write margin top of 40 pick cell then i refresh yeah it will look good now 
the next thing we have is the logo as you can see here is the logo you can just design it or just write it like that so the way I will make that is inside the our nav I can come and write a ul then li something like that then I give, give it is a class of logo or brand something very meaningful here then again you have an anchor here it is going nowhere my dot work then I can come here and refresh the page as you can see it will display here if I come and select this as you can see the UL it is taking the whole page like that so I can just give him uh, either width of uh, 120 pixel uh, as you can see if I give 120 pixel it will just take this portion as you know this is not the correct way of doing then I can just give it a flat of uh, left yes now it it is what we want so this is what we want now I'll come and I can just say we have a brand class of brand we give it a flat to left you know flat will work just uh, take the whole thing and put it in this position but for now as you can see it is not the things that we want so this one is take uh, when the, the brand is going here so it just uh, take that much space as well so as you know the space the top space this is what we don't want for that this is taking that top space that's why it is causing the problem you can come here and say this is our ul we have the ul here this has margin top but for this one we can say margin top should be zero pixel and i refresh the page yes now this is what we want and the same thing for the link you can say inside brand we have uh, li we have a inside that the color should be uh, for now if i read blue then i can just adjust it the not direct blue uh, something like this now save the file and refresh it now it's blue and the font width should be bold font width I can just select the 700 because we have brought that I should refresh this page now it is a little bold yeah it is not looking like that but this is something that we want okay it's fine for this one and let's bring the the two images here as you know the images uh, will come here the uh, other portion of that will come here so here is what I will use inside the header here if I write uh, let's say container this is just a simple class you can put a wrapper whatever then I say item for example we have two item here for this one and this one if I come here and write a little paragraph as you can see this is a little paragraph here nothing fancy we have two items side by side starting here and ending here so I'll save it and come refresh the page as you can see this will show on the top of each other but I want them to be shown side by side so this should be in the left the second one should be in the right side the way I will do is that I will use flex box I will select container and then give them a display of flex it will automatically uh, display both items side by side here is how I will do I will come here inside container I'll select the container and I say display for this should be flex if you don't know about flex box you should definitely search and uh, now as you can see yeah it is looking very nice okay right now I will just uh, I can just give them a little space from the top I can bring the image and all sorts of stuff I, I can do with this so the first thing we just know here is the title adventure and a little text then a button so this is what I will do for the first item here we have an h2 or uh, maybe yeah we have add venture then paragraph 
we have two completion we have text here then lorem maybe i just give it a 20 words of lorem epson then under then that we have button with the class of btn that's simple and what is written is start your adventure okay if i come and refresh it will look like this and i will bring the image here for the next one we have an image with an img of uh, with the mm, class of img so the source will be img here we have the book stock and the alt should be feature image then we have the class of img as well as you know it will show like this but this is a uh, very big i can just make it a little bit small that's why i give them a class i can come here i say if we have an img width should be 100 percent okay for now if i give it the width of 100 percent it will adjust it based on the width of our container so it will look good uh, for now as you know this is uh, outside of our container as you can see this is our code like this and this should be in the middle the problem is with my work if i select my work as you know that green part of it the ul by default browser give them a little bit of margin start and uh, end that is the what we what uh, they put here here is the the margin as you can see margin is start here or the padding yes we have the padding the green one is padding if you don't know about here is the box the green one is padding so i can come to the brain here is the brain and i can say padding let's say padding left only padding left is zero px save and refresh now it will take only that portion of the code and i can just give them a margin left of zero okay right if i come still no the margin left if i select the brain margin left yeah it has affected but i think that margin is for the a as you can see inside the brain we have an a don't need to give it margin we should give the margin left for the a so it will just uh, remove this space from here refresh the page yes still we have it as you can see i select this margin left is equal to zero no it is padding not a margin okay sorry for that now it is it is looking good as you can see the picture and this is how it work how it looks now for this part of the our project this part will bring it a bit down or we should uh, make it a bit small if you want to make it a bit small so i can come to header and say it should not be 80 per 90 percent it should take 80 percent it will center the things it will make things a little smaller refresh this yes this is what we want now we'll bring it uh, down as well so here is our item i can give them a uh, content or content or something like header content any class that we can select here you can come here header content no header content we have I can give it a margin of top maybe 200 pixel then I refresh the page yes it come down but it is a lot uh, of uh, it is down but it should not come that much and should be 100 I think fine yes it is fine 100 is fine here now I can just give him a little font the font is fine it should look like this as you can see this is uppercase but okay inside content header we have h2 we have the header content then we have 
an h2 i can select that h2 and give it a text decoration uh, underline no the way you would uh, uppercase the word would be i forgot that thing it is text transform yes uppercase it will make the text uppercase and the color should be also changed the color should be the same gray color refresh yes it is something like that or maybe a little darker can come here and select this color save it refresh yes and the text is here but the paragraph is of course gray so I can just give a class of text gray here color should be gray anyone who has the who has the, the class of text gray must be gray like this one I will come here and say text gray save it and refresh the page yes it is gray and the text is uh, let's make the text also a little bit shorter and remove this and then i'll come to browser and refresh it now it is looking good and the next thing is the button that we can design we know we have a class of button so i will just select this on the fly i'll write all the style here then i will save it as you can see we have a button no we don't have selector but how it will look like it is a blue button here first thing i will just give this a background of blue then i will give them a padding of 10 pixel if you don't like it then you get give a 15 other pixel from both sides then border should be zero pixel then we have a border radius which remove all borders and this is what we want and the color should be white but the blue one you can use the material blue something like this or click on this something a lot more like beautiful gray so the next thing and yeah it looks almost the same but the blue color is a little bit different so this is what we made out of this and maybe they have a little spacing you can give them a margin of top 30 pixel yes if you want the exact color you can do that as well just select and inspect element this is just uh, just write the color here let's say red then you can come here and say i want this color you can find the hex color of that then you come here and paste it now it will look the same thing as that one so i will select all of this because this is temporary you can come to your style we have a class of button paste all the style here save it then come here refresh the page everything should work the way it should now this is i think similar to our design not similar but almost the what we want yeah so if we uh, yeah it is mm, i think it is nice so far so i hope it has been informative for you if you have question feel free to comment below if you have any suggestion for the next design let me know and I will design that for you in the next video. Thank you for watching.